more than 500 positions will be eliminated by Snapchat owner. The proprietor of Snapchat is the most recent internet company to declare layoffs. Snap Incorporated said that it will cut about 530 workers, or 10% of its employment, with the majority of the positions anticipated to be eliminated in the first quarter. The information was provided in a regulatory filing, where it was also disclosed that the business anticipates paying up to $75 million in severance benefits and other associated expenses. The California-based company has more than 5,300 employees worldwide, with about 500 of those working in the UK. A representative for Snap stated that it was currently impossible to determine which positions at its London operations would be impacted. She added, we are reorganizing our team to reduce hierarchy and promote in-person collaboration. We are focused on supporting our departing team members and we are very grateful for their hard work and many contributions to Snap. Before now, Snap Incorporated declared that it would lay off about 20% of its employees in 2022. According to the company, 406 million people use Snapchat daily on average. Additionally, there are more than 5 million Snapchat Plus subscribers. Microsoft, which intends to lay off 1,900 workers, and eBay, an online retailer, which expects to reduce 1,000 positions, are two more major corporations that have lately announced job cuts. 10,000 layoffs were also announced by Meta, the company that owns the social media platforms Facebook and Instagram, last year. Snap's shares dropped 4% after the news on Monday. On Tuesday, the company is scheduled to release its fourth quarter earnings. Man dies and two injured in hyena attack near Kenya University. In Kenya, hyenas on the prowl have claimed a man's life and injured two more. On Monday night, the assault happened on the outskirts of Nairobi, the country's capital, close to the Multimedia University of Kenya. The institution lies near Nairobi National Park's western edge, home to several carnivorous animal species, including cheetahs, lions, and hyenas. Regrettably, a team discovered the partial remains of a human being at the scene, which were retrieved by Kenya police, the Kenya Wildlife Service KWS, said in a statement. The individual who perished in the incident has been identified as Anthony Pasha. According to his family, he died while gathering firewood. Kevin Wendwa, a 21-year-old engineering student, was hurt in the attack and lost his thumb. According to the KWS, a hyena was killed after the assault, and its corpse was being checked to see if it was infected with rabies or another illness. Animals with rabies may become more hostile and likely to bite. The frequency of hyena assaults in Nairobi's outskirts has increased, leading KWS to publish advice on what to do if you come under attack by the animals. Following the attack and death of 10-year-old Dennis Teya in a field in Kiambu County, north of Nairobi, the rules were made public in January. If faced with a hyena, do not move away until it does, and continue facing its direction. Be loud, look aggressive, and appear frightening to deter the hyena, the KWS advises. The recent attack has prompted students to protest over what they have called a lack of security. The university is not safe because we are near the national park. The government should, maybe, put some restrictions on the movement of the animals, said one student, Achin Kifa. Concerns raised over Tesla drivers using wearing virtual reality headsets, facts a post. Concerns raised over Tesla drivers using wearing virtual reality headsets. The U.S. Transportation Secretary has issued a caution after videos showing people operating Teslas while donning Apple's newly announced Vision Pro headsets surfaced. The gadget, which debuted last week, combines a view of the outside world with three-dimensional digital material. Pete Buttigieg, the Transport Secretary, said in response to the video, Reminder all advanced driver assistance systems available today require the human driver to be in control and fully engaged in the driving task at all times. Vision Pro is referred to as mixed reality because it blends augmented reality, which superimposes graphics on the physical environment, with a virtual reality, which immerses the wearer completely in the virtual world. Its upper face is covered in a 23 million pixel panel that looks like a pair of ski goggles. The wearer may operate it with their hands, eyes, and voice. 
According to Apple, using it while driving is never advised. Mr. Buttigieg has made similar comments about the use of Tesla Autopilot before. Tesla said its advanced driver features are intended for use with a fully attentive driver, who has their hands on the wheel and is prepared to take over at any moment. American porn star Whitney Wright sparks anger after Iran trip. After traveling to Iran, an American porn actor incited controversy despite the possibility of being arrested and given the death penalty. The 32-year-old Whitney Wright visited the shuttered U.S. Embassy in Tehran, which has been transformed into an anti-American museum, and recorded herself there. Wright, whose actual name is Brittany Rain Whittington, said on social media that she had to visit the embassy where, during the Islamic Revolution of 1979, Iranian students had kept staff members captive for 444 days. I'm sharing exhibits from a museum that are never seen, Wright, from Oklahoma, wrote on Instagram in a since-deleted post. It's not an endorsement of the government. She filmed herself throughout the Iranian capital, despite her work in pornography putting her at risk, in theory, to criminal charges that carry the death penalty. Wright also shared several photos during her visit, one of which included her standing next to a lowered U.S. flag at the former embassy while donning a headscarf and traditional attire, both of which are mandated by Iranian law. Her visit follows the imprisonment of women's rights campaigner and Nobel Peace Prize laureate Narjiz Mohammadi in Iran, the implementation of the nation's mandatory headscarf legislation, and widespread demonstrations following Masa Amini's murder in police custody two years prior. Producing pornography is prohibited under Iranian law and is punishable by death. According to Iran Human Rights, the government has put about 74 individuals to death so far in 2024. It's unknown how the actress managed to get a visa, which is also necessary for U.S. residents to enter the nation. According to an unidentified source cited by the semi-official Tasneem News Agency, which is thought to be sympathetic to the Revolutionary Guard, the people who provided the visa were not aware about the nature of her immoral job. Iran's foreign affairs spokesman Nasser Kanani said during a weekly news conference, naturally, U.S. citizens face no impediments in traveling to the Islamic Republic of Iran, and Iranian citizens are able to travel to the U.S. The U.S. State Department, when asked about Wright's trip, said it has warned Americans to avoid traveling to Iran and exercise increased caution due to the risk of wrongful detention. Emotive Polar Bear Image by Amateur UK Photographer Wins Top Picture Prize A Wildlife Photographer of the Year Award was given to an amateur photographer from the UK for this poignant picture of a polar bear slumbering on a makeshift bed cut out of a little iceberg. Nima Sarakani spent three days, desperately searching, for the creatures through the Svalbard archipelago off the coast of Norway before taking this picture. He ultimately came across two polar bears when his expedition ship altered its route, and he saw the smaller male bear constructing his bed before dozing off. The image, entitled Ice Bed, has emerged victorious in the Natural History Museum's Wildlife Photographer of the Year People's Choice Award. It was selected from around 50,000 global entries, which was reduced to a short list of 25. More than 75,000 people cast their votes, a record number, to name Nima this year's winner. Organizers praised the breathtaking and poignant image, saying it allows us to see the beauty and fragility of our planet and acts as a stark reminder of the integral bond between an animal and its habitat. A visual representation of the detrimental impacts of climate warming and habitat loss. Nima said he was honored to win the award. This photograph has stirred strong emotions in many of those who have seen it, he said. Whilst climate change is the biggest challenge we face, I hope that this photograph also inspires hope, there is still time to fix the mess we have caused. The Happy Turtle by Tsahi Finkelstein, from Israel, comes in second place. Captured from a hide in Israel's Jezreel Valley, this picture shows a Balkan pond turtle enjoying a moment with a northern banded groundling dragonfly. Sahi observed the turtle while photographing shorebirds, but he didn't focus entirely on it until he noticed the dragonfly making its way through the murky waters. Instead of snatching the fly for a meal as it landed, the turtle seemed amused, which made for the ideal photo. Shared parenting by Mark Boyd, from Kenya comes in third place. In this early morning photo from Kenya's Maasai Mara, two lionesses tenderly care for one of their pride's five babies. 
photographer Mark Boyd said that he had seen them the previous evening, concealing the cubs in thick underbrush overnight while they proceeded on their hunt. After their task, they summoned the cubs outside to the wide grassland so they could get a little grooming. Here the youngster was clearly enjoying the moment of affection and attention, Mark's entry said. Starling Murmuration by Daniel Densescu, from Germany, comes in fourth place. While observing a group of starlings in flight is always captivating, you should grab your camera as the enormous, swooping mass unfurls into a single, enormous bird. Daniel Densescu spent hours tracking the birds throughout Rome and its suburbs when he saw them congregating every day after they returned from foraging. Finally, on this cloudless winter's day, the flock didn't disappoint, he said. These four highly acclaimed pictures will be on show with Icebed both online and at the Natural History Museum in West London until the end of June as part of the Companion Exhibition. The false teeth of Sir Winston Churchill were auctioned off for $22,690. Gold-mounted prosthetic teeth, worn by Sir Winston Churchill during his iconic We Shall Fight Them on the Beaches speech and other speeches, were as snapped up for $22,690 at an auction. The six top teeth were designed to maintain the well-known natural lisp of the British Prime Minister throughout the war. He always carried two sets of dentures with him since they were so essential to him. The auction was conducted by the Cotswold Auction Company, who stated that the teeth were snapped up for $22,690, which is more than double the $10,000 suggested price. Having taken over as Prime Minister from Neville Chamberlain in 1940 and leading Britain through the Second World War, Churchill struggled with dental issues for most of his life, losing many teeth in his 20s. At least one of the four sets of teeth that were fabricated for him is thought to be buried with him. The auction set was made for him when he was 65 at the beginning of the conflict. Director Liz Poole said the teeth were among the most unusual items they had ever sold. We were absolutely delighted with the international interest in the sale of Churchill's false teeth and other memorabilia, which included phone bids from collectors in the United States and UK. The story generated global media coverage and featured in the news as far away as Canada, the US and Poland. The buyer has snapped up a unique piece of our country's history, she said. A microphone that reportedly Churchill used to declare the conclusion of World War II on VE Day sold for £11,500, with buyer's premium, among other items. As one of five new designs that will appear on UK coins in 2024, Churchill's likeness has been included on commemorative £2 coins this year to mark the 150th anniversary of his birth.